Sunbelt West and Passenger Johnson, meet your party at the Information Center. Sunbelt West, Passenger Johnson, meet your party at the Information Center. Good morning, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good, where are you flying to today? Memphis, please. Okay. Memphis, be sure you uh, check out Beale Street while you're there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry, uh, Marshal, but uh, you can't take a prisoner on board. Well, Marshal, Sheriff Damon Husky. I'm not aware of any law that says you can't take a prisoner on an airplane. A law? Uh, no, sir. That's our company policy. I'm sorry. Hurry up, Damon. This hurts. No more to drive the bus from Arizona to North Carolina. It'll hurt you more than me. Sitting on your hands the way you'll be. You're bullshitting me. Well, me, you're the one who got yourself arrested all the way across the country. Come on, damn it. These damn cuffs are killing my wrist. Well, you should have thought that when you saw your way out of my jail. I swear I won't give you no trouble. I'll do anything you say to get these cuffs off. I wonder if I could trust you, Lawrence. Yeah, we found him. <laughs> uh, okay, he's staying where? The Hilton. We'll have him sent over. All right, thank you. Morning again. Good morning. Um, Sheriff, our policy hadn't changed in the last few minutes. Wait a minute. You telling me your company's got a policy against selling tickets to a high sheriff and his chief deputy? Huh? <laughs> no, I, I guess there's no policy against that at all. Good. Well, you give me two to North Carolina. Okay. This is weird. I don't know. He shoots at us. We shoot at him. Seems about right. Give me that ball horn. You in the house? 
In the house. Listen to me. Now, this could go on all day or not. It's up to you. Now, we've got you bottled and stoppered, and you just don't have a prayer. Now, the only way we're going to let you out of there without kicking your ass around the block is for you to throw out your weapon first and come out with both hands over your head. Talk to me. Situation with the sniper. Good job of picking this high ground. That damn place is built like a fort. He's got a pretty good field of vision. You change your closing in and rushing him? If we did, he'd make doggy eyes. Hey, tell me you've been at this for a while. What's his attitude at this point? He still thinks he's winning. Don't worry about it. You got it made. Office, guys. I didn't expect you back from that convention so soon. Did you get bored shaking hands and smiling? They ain't the same when they can't vote for it, Roy. Remember to bring your gun? Nope. Fresh out. Great. You try to talk him out? Of times. Just makes him mad. Any of our boys hurt? Well. Come on, buddy. You're okay. He may be nuts, but he can sure shoot. We got the makings of a real fine junkyard here. my ass. That fellow don't know what kind of trouble he's getting me in with the county commissioners. Give me that. Ceasefire, ceasefire. Hold your positions. You're in the house. I'm coming up to talk. You're gonna what? Are you nuts? What are you talking? Damon. Well, don't take that hey, kind of a got... chance. You can't. Damon! Hey! Cover him. You know who I am? Yeah. And you know I have a warrant for you. you. Must be crazy. All it says I'm supposed to live with the body. It doesn't say what condition the body is supposed to be in. He really is crazy. Huh? 
I'm coming. I'm coming. Go clean up the arsenal, little one. When are you going to stop doing things like this? Like what? Probably give me one. Ask for ten. Maybe you'll get you three. Then maybe you won't have to go chasing off in the middle of the night so often. If I asked for ten deputies, you could hear Wendy Powell screaming clear in the next county. Well, knowing you, if they gave you twenty men, you'd still be off like a rocket every time the phone rings. But that's part of the job, honey. I don't know why I keep hanging around here. That's no mystery. You're just crazy about it. Or maybe I'm just plain crazy. Hey, being sheriff of the county, I've got the power to put you in the funny farm. Oh. I can just see it now. Poor Marjorie. Must have been out of her mind to leave a good-looking guy like Damon. Is that what people will say? Afraid so. What'd you do that for? Crazy people don't need a reason. C416, your 101. Advise you 1021 Forest City with information on subject. Yeah. Okay, Owen, I'll be there as soon as I can. What's his name? His name is Montgomery. Federal marshals brought him in this afternoon. He's wanted up in Virginia for murder and bank robbery. What set him off? Some of the other prisoners. Give him hell. What about? You? Me? One of the marshals really started it, I guess. Telling him how you'd stomp his ass if he didn't behave. Prisoners sort of took it from there. Oh, boy. Wrecked the plumbing in his cell. Tore the toilet right out of the floor. We got the water stopped, but nobody can get near him. I don't know whether he's mean as hell, nuts, or uh, just plain scared. You woke me up for this? Since you set him off, maybe you can settle him down.
I'll say it one time. Hand me the pipe, or I'll have no luck to say it. Time's up. You crazy? Clean that mess up and move him. What was it last night? I thought you were asleep. Not while you're out on a call. I think you'd be used to that by now. Was it bad? Oh, not really. Some guy acting a fool. I sang him a lullaby, and he went right off to sleep. Oh, I almost forgot. Are you up for a couple of barbecues Friday night? Two in one night? There goes my diet. Well, who's running for office now? A couple of Democrats. Well, wise guy, I didn't think it was a couple of Republicans. Oh, well, why not? I'm their sheriff, too, you know. If you don't get some sleep, you won't be... Seems to think the neighbor may be torturing some kind of animal. I can't believe she called you about something like this, Sheriff. She shouldn't bother you with crap like this. Besides, Brother Pretend is out of your jurisdiction. Last time I checked, your fair city is still in Rawford County. Anything? No, it's too dark. Damn, I should have brought my flashlight. Careful, Sheriff. The animals hurt bad, he'll attack. I ain't going under there. Nobody asked you to. Nobody's home. Yeah, I'm sure. What seems to be the problem? What the hell's happening here? Where's that fella going, my youngin'? Fitch. Oh. Get him off of me! Get him off of me! Crazy, stop it! Get him off of me! Crazy, stop it! Get out of the face of Stop it! Get him off of me! Crazy, Get him off What the hell's the matter with you? Did you lose your mind? No, just my temper. Ah. 
So, you lost your temper. And probably any hope of winning this case for me. What's that? Has a light finally gone off inside that head of yours? Are you finally beginning to realize that you just can't keep doing things just because they feel right at the time? You should have seen that little boy. I don't want to hear about it. But you hear this. You violated that man's rights. You assaulted him. You should have seen the little boy. A baby, really. We're not talking about the kid, damn it! We're talking about his father and what you did to him. You tried him, you convicted him, and you punished him. And you don't have the right to do that. And this has to be the 10,000th time I've had to remind you of that. You see, you used to be able to get away with that way back when. But I'll just be damned if I'll permit you to get away with it now. The law is not something that you can twist this way or that to suit your purposes. No one has that right. And it doesn't make a damn whether you and I like it. We were both sworn to uphold the law, not smashing its face until it's ugly and scarred. You scar the law. And you pay for it. I wonder who will pay for the scars on that little boy. The DA keeps chewing your ass out. Maybe you will invest in some cast iron shorts. <laughs> Very funny. Besides, me and the DA got an agreement. I screw up, he raises hell. <laughs> That's one of the best things he does. I got a little sample over that ponder case. He said we should never charge him with breaking and entering. He said the evidence is too weak. Well, how's he feel about possession of stolen property? Pretty good. Well, go for that, then. See you. Bill, the judge's secretary on line three. Good morning, Sheriff. Morning, Ruth. You about the first thing I ever seen. Oh, Amy Patrick. You got it, mate. Just stand by right there with you. You want to let Mr. Hutchins uh, sign for his valuables, Luke? Be my pleasure. It's all there. Just put your John Henry on this release. James, why don't you try extra hard to stay sober and out of trouble for a change? I don't think you're one of his favorite people. Well, now, that just about breaks my heart. Jim Curry. Come on, man. You ain't forgot about that.
Watch your head. This is ridiculous. I, I wasn't speeding, you know. I know. You know? <laughs> then what is this? You were parked. I was? Across two traffic lanes out on the bypass. Nah. Was I? Afraid so. That's why I'd like you to do me a favor and take a breathalyzer test. Oh, breathalyzer test. It seemed like they just smothered me to death. Maybe he's hiding out. Check around Lake Louie. He has family there. I'll check it out. How's your hammer hanging this morning, Sheriff? Mighty lowest. He out of rational citizens bright and early. You bet. The state couldn't get along without me. Pete Peterson, super trooper. Hey, you think there's a TV series in that? Oh, absolutely. I'll see you, Pete. County 400. C-400. A Jim Curry call. Reference a 1098 in Laurel Hill section. I have 10 for I'm on my way. seen anything like that, sir. God, poor old Sam just laying there on the porch. He's all... I had a bell took an axe. God. Like you're still alive? He, he looked at me. And yeah, we checked the windows and the doors. They're all locked. We was just sitting on the porch. Just sitting there holding that axe. He looked at me. We'll do what we can, Jim. Try to talk to her. Go around the back, see if you can't get in the house, but be careful. I don't want to start up with that axe again. Right. Hi, the bell. Hi, the bell. What about let's look at Sam? Listen to me, Adabelle. You don't want to throw your life away like this. I started throwing it away when I was 16, when I married Sam. And he turned me into nothing. Last night, I made up my mind to get out of here, and I told him so. Did he try to talk you out of leaving? He never said a word. Just picked me up in his arms and carried me to bed. Like his doing me in bed was all he had to do to make me stay. Then he left me. Never got home till daylight. I never slept any. I just laid awake all night thinking things over, coming to know. I'd never be peaceful in my mind until I was well rid of him. So you see why I can't let you help him. I understand. We won't try to help Sam. What about letting us help you? Said you wanted to leave, remember, last night? I think you ought to leave. What about it?
Samuel. How the sheriff managed to talk that crazy woman out of there? I don't know. I guess he just got away with women. Ah! Holy shit. I told you a piss ass deputy when he came here before. And now I'm telling you, Mr. High Sheriff, with your fancy ass suit, I ain't going no damn where with the law. Now, if you don't want to wind up with a black eye, like that deputy of yours, oh, get off of my property, I'll tell you now. Punched out one of my deputies. <laughs> I guess Evangeline figured it wasn't her day to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Monroe, it's not that funny. No, I was just recalling the two women strippers you arrested who turned out to be men. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you even asked them what nice girls were doing in work like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have someplace else to be, little one? <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> Sure as hell slapped the lid on that carnival in a hurry. Well, that brings us to why I called you today. You got another carnival? No, a drive-in show on adults only movies to minors. Oh, shit. Does this mean you're off on another crusade? It means I've got complaints up the yin-yang about underage kids being admitted to the movies. You're off on another crusade? Call it what you will. I call it doing my duty as duly elected sheriff of this county. I like duly elected censor, and that, my friend, ain't within your jurisdiction. Does that mean I don't get my warrant? No, well, I'll issue the warrants. I think I want to go along for the ride this time. Uh, in the interest of justice, let's say. You know, Damon, the last time I remember having mixed feelings like this was when you raided the Moose Lodge. I know. The first guy I ran into is my uncle. He's still not talking to me. <laughs> I got to tell you, my friend, I think you're in way over your head on this one. Well, you know me. People complain about a thing, and I'll do what I can to make it right. OK. There is no evidence before this court to determine whether any movie shown by any exhibitor are classified by any of the offending labels, is or is not within the category of obscene. This court is simply hearing a question whether the actions of the sheriff violate the constitutional guarantees of free speech and freedom of the press under the circumstances herein shown. The chilling effect of the defendant's utterances upon the plaintiff's freedom and pocketbook are fully and dramatically demonstrated by the evidence. It is therefore ordered that the defendant be, and he hereby is enjoined, pending further order of the court, 
from issuing or enforcing any past or future ban or statement in judgment as to what type of labels of films are going to be considered unlawful and subject to prosecution. Just take it easy, okay? Check. Wendell. Well done. What's my county's number one bootlegger doing in the Queen City? It's your pleasure watching that old judge kick your ass. Mm -hmm. Well, he did that all right. Maybe you'd like to try your luck. Easy, Damon. Lawyer yeah, Hamrick's right. Yeah, you're gonna have to go real easy from now on. You wanna hold on to that badge. You know, from the way that judge lit into you, yeah, seems like you can't look sideways to nobody without getting slapped down. How's it feel? Haven't decided yet. You've got about two seconds to get your ass off my car. You're going to find out. You're all mouth now. Guess this just ain't my day. But there's always tomorrow, Webb. Right about 10 years ago, and, uh... Take that side and show you my new Chevy van. Got a real nice stereo in there. Ooh, it sounds good. I love a man with a van. He sweats. And he had one of those big old Ford trucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, one of them big wide fenders. Mm -hmm. Do some sweat in the van. Hey, asshole, she's with me. Just for that Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Ignore him. Mm. You were saying? <laughs> And cops started chasing us. You like fish? See that one? It's new. Got him right after court. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the ones they used to have it on Thunder Road. I ain't sure we're different back then. Back when I was first elected, bootleggers operated out of trailers. Had them all lined up, right out in front of everybody. Of course, my big campaign promise was I was going to put a stop to it. I went in to see the big boys and told them I'd appreciate it if they'd be out by morning. Yeah, we all know how polite you can be. Oh, I was nice as pie. Of course, in a couple of hours, I got a call. that come run to Thunder Road. I got there. Wasn't a soul in sight. The trailer burned like hell, though. Before you got there or after? <laughs> 
Oh, well, the general idea was to uh, put the blame on me, but that kind of backfired on them, too. Because when the mill shift lit out, people coming home from work, there I was, warming my hands beside the fire, and people hollering, that a way to go, Sheriff. Ready to place one time run with two women. When I was naked from the waist up and we busted in, she grabbed up two jugs of liquor, prayed them like a baby, started pouring them out in the sink. I couldn't get to the liquor jugs without grabbing her jugs. Well, what'd you do? Yeah, best I could. We didn't save a drop out of liquor, though. <laughs> Go ahead. We are all position, Sheriff. Okay, we'll move in on my signal. Okay, boys, let's go break up a party. Start moving some of these people out of here. Relax, dipshit. Okay, man. Read him a ride. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Let it go. Everything's under control. Yeah. Take it easy. Just take it easy. Yeah. Start the process. Let you go outside and get some fresh air. Oh, 
Give it up, Webb. Oh. Stay down. It's finished. No. Right. Yeah, the DA filed it. Petition to remove me from office. I'll be right over. I'll be at Nate Hamburg's office. County Jail. Thirty odd six, thirty odd six. Oh, yeah, thirty odd six. Well, here you go. To go ahead. See the clerk at the hardware store. Reference possible B and E last night. Ten four.
Looks like the DA was on a roll here. Looks like he was on something. 36 allegations designed to show how you neglected to discharge your duties. Making convicted felons honor grade prisoners. Letting them have the free run of the jail so they could operate a, a theft ring. Oh, and let's not forget how your chief deputy has been stealing food from that jail kitchen. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's funny. And then there's my absolute favorite. Your unlawful and willful assault on a prisoner but without provocation. And if that wasn't bad enough, you did nothing while other prisoners kicked the poor man's ass. Any truth at all in here? It's true I made Jerry Thompson and Greg Mitchum trustees. Well, the most they could get you for there is using bad judgment. My guess is the DAs used worse judgment. We'll just see what he has to say about that. I'd like to see what my jailers have to say about that. I sure am glad Judge Grist set this hearing so soon. I guess he figured the sooner we get this mess settled, the better for everyone. We better hope and pray the judge sees fit to grant us discovery in this action, or we'll be in deep shit when we go to trial. Yeah. Now, I'm not interested in delaying this matter, Mr. Hamrick. I do think the people of Rutherford County have the right to know just as soon as possible whether or not these allegations against their duly elected sheriff are true or false. All I want is the time I need. Now, I have no idea what's going to be presented against me. The best information I can ascertain is that 90% of this petition comes from the mouths of two felons indicted in this court for more than 25 breaking and enterings, caught by the sheriff, taken to the grand jury by the sheriff. Now, if I'm going to be confronted with that kind of evidence and those kind of people, I want time to talk to them. I'm absolutely without any means to defend the sheriff unless I have discovery about people who are going to appear against him. Well, Mr. D.A., you heard his request. What are you willing to do uh, without court order? Judge, as to the allegations in the petition, I'm willing to specify who said what. I would like to call to the court's attention a motion that I filed and handed to the counsel about an hour ago, which has not been heard. What motion is that? This is what I have broadly entitled the motion to quash the defendant's notices of depositions brought under the rules of civil procedure. Yes, sir. Well, I wonder if the judge would rule upon that at this time. Motion denied. I have indicated to the administrative office that a motion is pending if I did order discovery. I'm going to request that the administrative office uh, set a special term and assign a judge from outside the fourth division to handle this matter. Court's adjourned. dropped his petition. I still don't understand what... Well, the appeals court in Raleigh agreed with Judge Crisp. They allowed us discovery. So, the DA 
dropped his petition, dismissal with prejudice. What exactly does that mean? That means, Miss Husky, that they can't bring it up again. Mm. Hey, that's all right. Well, careful, you're gonna scare my horse. Boo horse. Now, I wonder if the county could get by without me today. I wonder. Junior said you wanted to see me. Yes, I do understand. Look, law enforcement's tough work. Showing his wife, they're at it again. Of course I see your side of it. Do me a favor. Don't go off half-cocked. I'll be there as soon as I can to talk to both of you. Good. She hit him with a hula lamp. She hit him with a what? A hula lamp. The base of the lamp is shaped like a hula girl, and when you turn it on, the hips rotate. Oh. Maybe that's why Shorty's been acting like he's got hemorrhoids. I guess. Let's get some coffee. Been getting a lot of complaints about you again. So what else is new? So what's the gripe this time? Same one. Men say you're riding them too hard. Just trying to do my job. And I'm a sheriff. Or you pull that disappearing act on me again. I need your autograph. You got it made. Thank you. Give them hell when there's no reason at all. They're good men, Roy. And you said they work. So I want you to ease up on them a bit. Ease up? You kick ass at the drop of a hat. And you even drop the hat. I'm just trying to do my job. That's... Wait up, Sheriff! All I'm trying to say is... Be gentle with their sensitive spirits. Yeah, something like that. What's this? Federal rep cheated on that man from Florida. Dade County's got a fugitive warrant out for him. We got him on a 1055. Well, let Dade County have him. We got enough drunk drivers. What's his name? Oh, Myers? Yeah, Myers. I will give Florida the good news. I bet you Luke's one of the ones bitching the loudest, ain't he? What? I think. Tell me something. You're trying to prove something to the men. Give me a break, huh? I'm not doing the job to suit you, is that it? I didn't say that. There you go. And because if up. that's it, then you can take these bars and you can give them to somebody else. Well, you just don't get your damn water hot. You'll scorch your bladder. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hard man, Roy. I had a good teacher. Hey, look, uh... You're the one who's got to shake everybody's hand and smile all the time, not me. Besides, I only give these men hell when I think they need it. It lets them know that I earned these bars, that I didn't get them just because I was your brother. Don't worry about it. County Jail, Luke. Well, to the best of my knowledge, I believe that's on the court docket for the 25th of this month. Seen Roy? He's in the Sally Port. You want to see me, Roy? Yeah. You still got your mind made up to quit the department? Yeah. It ain't that I really want to quit, Roy. It's the money, I know. There's a lot of money in the construction business. We can make a hell of a lot. Coach, 
aren't you off duty by now? I am. I want to ask you a favor. You got it? It's a promise, really. What kind of promise? One you'll keep if you make it. Now you're getting tricky. No, no tricks. Just yes or no, and that'll be the end. Come on, Roy. You know this is my last day. I know. Today's it. That's it for me. Yeah. But I still want you to promise you won't quit. At least for a while. Why? I mean, what's the difference whether I quit today or a month from now? I'll still be going. The difference is you're a good man. And if you stay, it means I get to keep a good man on the job that much longer. So what's it gonna be? You gonna promise or what? Good. Now I gotta go tell the construction company. Unless you wanna do it for me. Yeah, I can do that. Who knows? Why don't you offer me that job since you sure so can't make a decision? Ho, ho, ho. I'd go to graduation tonight. Kind of full of promises, ain't it? <laughs> You're full of something. Right. Who's your buddy? That is Mr. Webster. Oh, really? I read your dictionary. <laughs> All right, Mr. Webster. You know, one that boy's going to be a big help to his mother when he grows up. <laughs> Roy? Yeah? You better take this call. She says she knows you. Charlotte Hutchins? Hmm. Yeah, Charlotte, what's... Whoa, slow down. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know where you live. No, no, no. Uh, you just hold on, I'll be right there. James Hutchins' daughter. He's raising hell again. Had to beat the crap out of her. Whole family's raised screaming. I'll go along and back you up. It's on my way home. I'll wait here if you need any help. Hey, you're off duty, remember? That's it, then. We don't go to the graduation program tonight. Nobody goes. Nobody! We all stay right here. What is it, Jane? 
What the hell are you doing here? James? What's going on in there? This ain't none of your business. You got no right to be up here. So you just get the hell out. James? All right, asshole, I'll just get a warrant. I hear you. Two policemen. Deputies hurt real bad. Maybe even dead here. 
Listen, I'm not some kid playing around out here. I hear you. Where are you? Mountain Creek Road. Where'd this happen? Off the road. It's the Hutchins place. <laughs> County. Did you copy that transmission? 10449. I'm in the process of alerting other units and the rescue squad. Ruth, who went out there? It was Roy and Owen. Oh, God. Oh, God. Does the sheriff know about this? 101049. He doesn't answer. Keep on it. I'm 1017. 104. Hello? Marjorie? Uh, hi, this is Ruth. Uh, is uh, Damon there by any chance? No. Ruth, I know something's happened. I've been listening to the talk. We just need to contact the sheriff, is all. I've got to run, Marjorie. Bye-bye. Is it Damon? Is he the one that's hurt? No. No, it's Roy and Norton. Does Joanne know? She knows. Ten eighteen traffic four hundred. Acknowledge, please. County to four hundred. Acknowledge, please. County to 400. Say 400, go ahead. Sheriff, we've got two officers down on Mountain Creek Road. No report on their condition. Who are the officers? Units 402 and 414. Oh, we know it. I'm on my way. Sir, can you tell us what's going on here? How's the investigation? Have they found Hutchins? Do you know where they're looking for him? What do you know? Can you tell us anything? That's enough! Damn it, let's see if we can't keep a little order here. Go ahead. A description of the suspect in the vehicle has been broadcast. We have been advised that all available units in Rutherford and surrounding counties are in the field. What about Roy and Owen? Nothing more at this point.
bad, is it? It's bad, Damon. They're gone. You don't want to go in there. I have to. Please, Damon, don't go in there. Got to see my brother, Lillian. Suspect vehicle description, cross Highway 221, headed east on SR 1527. I am in pursuit. County. We got a state trooper on his ass out of Kelky Lumber.
10-4, and you could ignore any more calls we got reporting Hutchins all over the county. He's here in the woods. Advise the sheriff. Unit 400 doesn't respond. Keep trying. County to 400, County to Sheriff Husky. Acknowledge 400. things for me? Yeah. Who first called about Hutchins? His uh, oldest daughter. Charlotte's her name. Did she actually talk to Roy? <clears throat> That's right. She called from a neighbor's house. After her and her daddy fought, she ran next door and called from there. So Charlotte wasn't around when any of this happened? That's right. Her boyfriend actually called in from uh, Owen's car. He called in the shooting. He was there to pick her up. Oh, so he was the one that got the family down to the sheriff's department. That's right. Oh, uh, Lieutenant, could you verify something for me? Well, no until you ask. But now Hutchins served four years on a manslaughter charge down in New Mexico uh, in the mid-50s. He did. Now, what I need to know, did Sheriff Husky sign an agreement allowing him to come back home, back to Rutherford County? Well, New Mexico was willing to parole him if Damon agreed. Hutchins' wife, his first wife, uh, talked Damon into it. Damn. Hutchins' car is right up the road there. <laughs> Lieutenant, where is the sheriff? I can't say, Ron. Uh, we haven't been able to raise him by radio. Son of a bitch. Keep circling back for home. Roy was well liked. That's because he was so private. Not many people knew him. weren't close to him. He said he was a good man. He loved this place. Looked after it. Our daughter said that our dead limb falling off a tree in the yard. Hardly hit the ground before he cleaned it up. I still can't believe it. 
Joanne, don't. How do you stand it, Marjorie? That's what Damon does. I wish I could have been more like you. Able to accept what Roy did without being afraid all the time. Oh, Joanne, if you only knew. For a long time, when he was called out at night, I'd put a chair in the hallway between the doors of the kids' bedrooms. And I'd wait up for him. I never told him that. You wish you could be more like me. There hasn't been a single day or night, then or now, when I wasn't terrified that something would happen to Damon. Lieutenant Bloom, do you copy? Loud and clear. The dogs have lost the scent, but some of the men that like to keep pushing on. The only problem with that is that it's darker than a coal pile at midnight out here. Just sit tight. We sure as hell don't want anybody shooting in shadows. Hutchins ain't gonna slip away. We've got two officers tracking him at close range. Look, it'll go easier on you if you give yourself up. Hutchins, the only chance you've got is to surrender. Right now, there's 200 men, armed officers, closing in on you. Men with dogs. Hutchins? Hutchins, those officers you shot weren't dead when we came into the woods. So you didn't kill anybody yet? You lying sons of bitches! I know that patrolman's dead. I saw me blow the bastard's head off. County to Sheriff Husky. Please acknowledge Sheriff. County to 400, come in, please. See 400 to county. 400 to county. I'll be 107 at Roy's home. Tell those men to bring Hutchins in alive. <laughs>
Fox killer James William Hutchins became the first death row inmate to be executed in North Carolina in 23 years this morning, and the first to die by lethal injection. Hutchins had been in Raleigh Central Prison for five years following his conviction in the deaths of two Rutherford County Sheriff's officers and a state trooper. told you, but I waited on Hutchins that night. I'd made up my mind to kill him. And I can't tell you how many times I've thanked God that he didn't cross my path. Mm -hmm. 